I just want to congratulate you on the movie. It was so good. Your chemistry is amazing. Um, I wanted to ask you if there was a, a particular scene that was your favorite to film together. Uh. I love the scene in the uh, prison, you mm -hmm. know, when she comes to visit. That That's really, that's one of my favorite scenes, and I especially love it because it wasn't in the script. And, uh, you know, Laura says one day to me, you know, I think it's weird. There's a lack of completion with our characters, and the next thing you know, we got this scene in there that is, like, beautiful, you know? I love that scene. And the collaboration mm -hmm. of sort of having a thought and Woody brainstorming what it would be, how it would be, Craig, Daniel coming in and finding it um, in terms of the language. Like, that's just, that's the love of filmmaking, that you get to sort of reinvent the story over and over as you're going through the filming process, if it's like a great team. Mm. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's it's. It's a rare thing, but a great thing when you get that kind of experience where you can really, everybody just jumps into the trenches and just mm -hmm. starts figuring it out. It's so cool. Hmm. Well, one thing I loved about Wilson's character is he does some crazy funny things to get um, people's attention, whether it's staging a car, uh, car accident or stalking his daughter. Is there anything? Um, <laughs> in, <laughs> is there anything in your life that you've ever have you ever done anything like crazy or funny to get someone's attention, or be part of something that you weren't a part of? What about you? <laughs> I mean, I've been trying to get your attention for years. You I just clearly, it, you I got it. it full, hundred percent. Twenty twenty. Well, the third, I mean, uh, another way. I'm nuts about her. I'm nuts about him. <laughs> yeah. So lucky. Luckily, her name's Laura already, so my wife's name's Laura, so it kind of simplifies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another funny line in the film is when you're talking to a stranger on a bus, you say, How did we end up like this? Have you ever had a moment in your life where you ask yourself that question? I ask that question every day. <laughs> Me like, too. I really, I, I am startled by how nuts the world is, you know, where we look at nature as a resource and we, and we, uh, you know, we don't talk to each other. We just get on our little devices and, you know, ignore each other and, you know, and everybody's wanting money and security and it's like, I don't know. I'm a little distraught about the whole thing, but I get the feeling we could turn it around. Eventually, when we're not able to breathe, we'll have to start coming up with some ideas. Exactly. Or, yeah. And then they'll start selling air. Air in a yeah. bottle. Air in a bottle. That's <laughs> it. Get on. Get in it now. I had an oxygen bar in the 80s in no. L.A.? Yeah. People lined up for it, but the food was terrible. <laughs> And See there, if you were get other, there were other problems yeah. in the place. <laughs> but the oxygen they, they were great. coming in for. Nice. It's actually great. Yeah. Well, that's off, off, off subject. Sorry. That's all, no, no, it's okay. Thank you so much. Hey, pleasure, you. man. Thank you. So yeah. great.